And the Urban Restoration Counseling Center is a local nonprofit working to raise mental health awareness within the Black, Indigenous, and people of color communities. They're also holding a fundraiser for their Therapy for All program this Saturday at the Derby United Rink. Co-founder and Vice President Chanel D. Johnson is here along with Caitlin and Janelle to mm -hmm. talk about uh, not only this event but what you guys do as an organization. Thank you all three for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you for having us. Uh, I want you to start off by telling us what your organization is. You were just telling me you're coming up on five years yeah. as a center. Uh, you two are co-founders, correct? Yeah. Absolutely. So tell us how this center came to be. Yeah, so Urban Restoration Counseling Center is a nonprofit organization that provides mental health services to people of color by people of color. Our mission is to disrupt the cycle of intergenerational trauma that's passed down in families of color. Tell us about what intergenerational trauma is for people at home who aren't familiar and how it relates specifically to communities of color. Yeah, so uh, intergenerational trauma is trauma is um, experiences that uh, cause us to have maladaptive or like coping skills that aren't serving us anymore right right and so because of the the trauma that we've experienced maybe you know um, I have angry outbursts and so we're hoping to make sure that we stop the angry outbursts stop the pain that happens in the family so that it doesn't transfer down to the next family the next generation of kids and it's providing those communities with the resources that they need to be able to you know, work on that. Uh, Caitlin, you are the intern, yes, right? Yes, uh, I am. <laughs> you have a big event that uh, is, has kind of been your project uh, yes. this year. Tell us about what's going to be happening. Yeah, so for this Saturday at Derby United, we have an event called Wheels to Heal. And uh, we're, we did it in May because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So we want to focus and all of the proceeds are going to go to our Therapy for All program, which I know we're going to talk about a little bit later. But um, the event's going to be from 2 to 7 this Saturday. Okay and um, you can buy our tickets online on our website. They're gonna put it in the YouTube, right? Yeah, it'll perfect. be right on the link on the and YouTube perfect. page. And they, and oh, and website. there's also a QR code. Um, you can scan that and buy your tickets through that link. Um, we would love to see everybody from the community bring your kids, yeah. bring your family. Mm -hmm. you know, Everyone it's, it's you know. Gonna, it's gonna be yes. a lot of fun. It's what, just 15 bucks to rent some skates, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, it comes with the skate rental and admissions, yeah. And it, they're gonna have music playing and we're gonna have like light concessions, I think, they yep. sell. Yeah, so oh, it's good. gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, Janelle, well, you were just telling me you guys got, what, a million dollar <laughs> grant? Tell us about what you we won. We did. Uh, we were a part of the Alliance Healthcare's I2 challenge, and we were one of two recipients wow. of a million dollar grant to That's fund huge. our therapy for all program. Chari therapy is not cheap, right? No. You know, you obviously have <laughs> to pay those not. providers, yeah. <laughs> and we know that communities of color historically don't get the therapy that they need. Sometimes that's intergenerational, like you mentioned. Uh, for others, it's just that you they don't have the money to pay for it. So Correct. is right. that the, the kind of foundation of the center? Absolutely. So therapy for all is our flagship program. We offer 15 sessions of no cost wow. or low cost therapy to anyone in San Diego County. Okay. Um, we focus on Southeast San Diego and the City Heights area, but if you need healing, you want to start therapy, <laughs> yes. please come see us at Urban. There's still kind of a stigma, right? Yes, Especially so amongst right. people of color, uh, that therapy isn't necessary unless mm -hmm. you've been through major, major trauma. Right. Does everyone need therapy? Should everyone be in therapy? What do you think? Yes, everyone should be. Yes. <laughs> I need therapy. Answer, right? <laughs> exactly. Everybody I saw three heads. <laughs> <laughs> right. yes. But I think we could use therapy. Most of the time we wait too late to come to therapy. We wait until after we have had an explosion right. or something, and then we come to therapy. I think we would all like to see people to come to therapy in the beginning when you're starting to tr maybe transition. You know, Caitlin's transitioning out of school soon. Right. This is a yeah. great time for somebody to come to therapy. Just life Not changes. really sure what mm -hmm. I'm going to do. Yeah. Right? Like, yes, if you yes. had trauma, of course, come to therapy. But you can also use therapy in a preventative kind of way right. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, only a few seconds left. Could you guys remind us of the website for more information mm -hmm. on how to participate in the yeah, event, too? Yeah, <laughs> so it's urbanrestorationcounseling.org. And um, our link is on there. We also have an Instagram, so you can find us on there. Perfect. And it's in our little link tree for tickets. And then, yeah, the flyer has the little QR code on Lovely. there. So. Thank you three for being with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you for having us. Thank you. Right. We're taking a quick break.